everyone, it's Fantasia. Welcome to another speculation and discussion video for the upcoming expansion pack. So I did a video a couple days ago about a post on the forum and there's been more added to it. So I thought I would go ahead and do another video. I did let you guys know if there was more stuff added to it that I feel like is worth talking about, then I'll go ahead and do another video. So before we get into it, let's do our notification shout out. And this one goes to Pixelina. So because this kind of goes with the speculation and discussion, I'm going to go ahead and read it out. I have a feeling they're going to come out with a city world, cars, townhome, Homes expansion pack next and then maybe a fairies game pack in the spring i would love if they had their own world and a portal similar to the spellcasters game pack i hope ea goes all out with these next releases honestly i wouldn't be surprised i do feel like the next game pack will hands down be fairies i well unless they're gonna do like hotels in a game pack but i just feel like I really feel like now that will be an expansion pack. In the past, I thought that would be a game pack, but I'm thinking expansion pack just based on how the expansion packs are. I don't think they would fit hotels into a game pack, but I could be wrong. But yeah, fairies is like the only occult that we're missing that we usually get in Sims games. So, I mean, there's a couple others, but like, you know, the ones that we always get like a fleshed out supernatural for, I feel like fairies is the last one. So I do think that will happen. You guys know I've been talking all about the expansion pack, the what ifs and everything. And and yeah, I would love if it was a city world with cars, townhomes, and all of that. I've talked about it. And can you just imagine if that really becomes reality? Oh my goodness. But thank you so much for your comment. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shadow, all you gotta do is comment down below. So let's get into this. If you guys saw my video from a couple days ago, you know this is a thread here. It's by Cat Lover Player, and it's October Patch Speculation 2023. So I'm gonna scroll down to like the new stuff. Okay, so this is the first thing I want to go over. This is actually a reply to someone else. So someone else said here, while I'd love hotels they're my number one wanted thing now i can't see how they fit in a neighborly type of theme i know it's a vague term anyways but it brings to my mind strengthening local ties not introducing a feature that would likely focus on transitory short-term visitors so then there was this here i actually didn't even know about this so this is news to me so this simmer thinks it might be hotels so this comes from banana so i'm thinking this bed was possibly a hint at the new pack neighborly land grab mentions two keys hustle and bustle a business but what business would have a heart bed, you may ask? Hotels. Also, cars have been brought up to be following a horse pack at some point. Yeah, I've talked all about that. Like, this is why I definitely think we're getting cars now. I don't know if it'll be in the upcoming expansion pack, but I definitely think cars will happen. Whereas before, it seemed unlikely. And I know some people are still on the fence and they think cars won't happen. But keep in mind, literally years ago, a sim guru, an official sim guru, talked about how, like, cars won't be far behind if we get horses. So now everyone's like, oh my gosh, we're going to get cars. And there's been other hints here and there. But anyways, so this is the dissembled heart bed from the basement kit. It says it's been over 20 years, yet this old vibromatic will still have you feeling flirty as you recall the good old days when you were living large. It has a lot of history and it shows. Nonetheless, there's still some motion in the ocean and maybe the vibration engine could even work again one day. This unique piece captures such a special place in our hearts that we can't quite part with it. I automatically feel like, I feel like everyone thinks this, this is a hint that we're going to get the heart bed. And honestly, I never looked at the hints this way. Neighborly land grab mentions two keys, hustle and bustle. There could be hotels because that could be the business that we're getting. Like it could be a playable career. So when you think about it that way, that could make a lot of sense. And the whole two keys thing, like we still don't know what the other keys for. There is like a little house or whatever, but honestly that could indicate anything. Maybe it doesn't indicate a house. Like, I don't know. But yeah, one could be a hotel key and one could be, like when I say hotel key, I'm saying like the owner of the hotel, because obviously a traditional ho hotel key is usually like a card for someone staying at a hotel, but an owner of the hotel would have you know, an actual key. So this is really interesting. And hotels are the perfect time to add in the heart bed. I already kind of felt like the heart bed will come with this upcoming expansion pack, but it would make even more sense if there was hotels within the pack and then we got the heart bed because, you know, hotels have those like honeymoon suites and stuff. A lot of hotels have like a jacuzzi tub. It would be so fitting to imagine if they gave us like actual jacuzzi tubs, like not a hot tub. I know we have like fancy bathtubs that kind of look like a jacuzzi tub, but like 
like no one that's like functional you can like turn on the jets and it's for like in the house <laughs> and that would be so cool and then we also got heart beds <gasps> and then there could be like full-on honeymoon suites oh my goodness that would be that would be amazing okay i definitely don't think this is happening but this person says there are also hotels with dragon in their names such as the royal dragon dragon hint okay i <laughs> I definitely don't think that's happening. However, you know, it would be really cool if they brought back dragons to The Sims 4. That was a thing in The Sims 3. They were baby dragons, but I feel like that would be perfect if they made a medieval pack, which we are getting a medieval kit. That's going to be in 2024. It was confirmed for 2024, but any of you guys are wondering, same with the goth kit. And honestly, if they made an actual game pack for like medieval times, I personally would love to see like, you know, traveling in the past type of pack because we still haven't seen like a traveling pack like that. In The Sims 3, we had Into the the future. I would prefer like a going back in time to be honest and that would be different because we don't usually get that. And then it would be awesome if we got baby dragons and then it would pair perfectly with the medieval kit. That would be a great pack for 2024. Comment down below what you think about that. Is that something you'd be interested in? I would only be interested in a medieval pack if it was specifically for like a traveling thing because I wouldn't really play like that in my everyday gameplay. So if we just got like another new world that was like royalty and stuff to me that wouldn't really make sense. If it was like another random world that was like taking place at a different set of time. I don't know. I think it would be, it would just make a lot more sense if you had to travel there. So this reply here says, I'm hoping they'll finally put a toggle for us to turn off constant townie spawning. It's just so annoying. I also hope we finally get a multi-purpose community lot so we can have things like post offices, game arcades, etc. <gasps> Wait, oh my goodness, you guys. This would be an amazing thing to do. Also, the fact that like we always get a patch before an expansion pack. I don't know if the patch for the expansion pack will be in October or November. It kind of depends like when the expansion pack's coming because the roadmap is going to December. So we really don't know, but a lot of people are guessing November. And if it's early November, we'll likely get the patch in the end of October, which what the heck? We're already in October. Like... <laughs> I cannot believe we are this like already like a week into October. I don't know what's happening with time. I still keep feeling like we're in September. Like September lasted two seconds, I swear to God. September was by far the fastest month this year. <laughs> But anyways, this would be amazing. First of all, yeah, a toggle for us to turn that off for townie spawning would be A+. Plus. I would love that. And then a multi-purpose community lot so we can have things like post offices, game, ar game arcades, etc. This would be a dream. Not to mention, imagine a world where we had post offices and actual arcades that you can set as an arcade, you guys. Oh my goodness. I feel like we need these things. And this would be just so cool to me. I also feel like, I, I don't know why, but I still just really want like a playable movie theater that I can go into. I thought I wouldn't. I thought I'd be fine with just the rabbit hole, but no, I still kind of want to go with my Sims to watch a movie and have it be like the full experience where you like go up and get your popcorn and stuff like that. Oh my goodness. A girl can dream. I feel like that's never going to happen. I also feel like we'll never get post offices, but that would just be so cool. Okay. So cat lover player says, I would love to see multi lots added to the update and perhaps the expansion pack will come with actual malls ah <laughs> if that's the case like sims oh <gasps> wait sims free play has malls those even have escalators and multi-stories you guys why does the sims free play have stuff that the sims 4 might never have like explain it to me oh my god malls wait oh <gasps> Okay, you know how like this whole get busy thing could mean so many different things. Like it's very vague. Like honestly, this expansion pack might completely shock us. What if we get malls? What if our Sims could run malls? Honestly, I'm not even going to get my hopes up. But you guys know I like to speculate. See, I'm just like the type of person. That's why I love these videos. <laughs> you know, some people will be like, I don't like to get my hopes up with speculation, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, that's the point of a speculation video there. It's just like, you're just talking about like the what ifs and like, we really can't get our hopes up for anything that literally has no confirmation. It's just fun to discuss. Like when I read actual malls, I just get so excited inside, but not like the type of excited where like I'm getting my hopes up for that because there's no evidence to suggest that we would get that, but it's just like fun to talk about. So, okay. This last one here is replying to the comment that we just went over about the townie spawning and multi-purpose lots. This times 100. If I can just have a toggle, to turn off randomized townies, I will be a happy simmer. Better yet, if I can assign my own NPCs so everyone is in their rightful places, that is the dream. Also, multi-purpose lots would be nice indeed. It would make all the neighborhoods more alive, I think. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, guys, I would love so many of these things that are being discussed here. Comment down below what you want to see the most out of the things that people are mentioning here. Honestly, a dream expansion pack 
would be getting hotels within this pack, being able to run them, also getting like new apartments, like townhouses. So maybe not, I, honestly, like I would love a new apartment system. That would be amazing. But like we do have apartments. So for something new and different, townhouses, hotels, I just feel like they wouldn't include both of those. I don't know. But who knows? Sometimes they surprise us. Like it's so hard to tell what we should expect in, a, in an expansion pack nowadays because like we get things like Horse Ranch, but then like we'll get another expansion pack that feels like it has a bunch of things. Like, I don't know. <laughs> That's my biggest fear. Like I just really hope it is a fleshed out expansion pack fingers crossed fingers crossed like i feel like stuff packs give us so much like home chef hustle is really doing it for me and i want to see that carried over to expansion packs like you know getting content that feels like it's worth the amount of money they cost so fingers crossed but like if we got cars if we got hotels being able to run our own hotels that would be so much fun also malls would be super freaking fun too but i would prefer hotels I don't know, you guys. Comment down below. What do you think? And with that said, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.